Take a look at your toaster oven and tell me it isn't really messy. Why are you still cooking food when there's nothing but grease and burned food clinging to the walls of the toaster? Don't you want to see it clean? Well, you've come to the right place. There's a great way to clean your toaster oven and it doesn't require you to go out and buy expensive cleaners. The solution is actually a common kitchen product called baking soda. So how do you clean a toaster oven with baking soda? Baking soda is a very powerful cleaning agent. Start by mixing baking soda with water until it turns into a paste. While the oven is unplugged, spread the paste throughout the inside of the oven. Avoid the heating element. Leave the paste on overnight. Then wipe and clean it off in the morning. How to clean a toaster oven using baking soda paste Number 1. Unplug your toaster oven. Number 2. Mix approximately a 2 to 1 baking soda to water ratio or until it becomes a white paste. You can substitute water for white vinegar as well. Number 3. Spread the thick mixture all throughout the insides of the oven. Avoid the heating elements. Number 4. Leave the mixture for at least 12 hours or overnight. Number 5. The next day with a damp cloth, wipe it down clean. Want to know how to clean the heating element in your toaster oven? Step 1. Make sure your toaster is unplugged. Step 2. If it's hot, wait until it cools. Step 3. Use some soft dish soap and a lint-free cloth and gently clean. And Step 4. Rinse off the soap from the cloth, squeeze out as much water from it as possible, and use it to wipe off any residue soap still on the element. There's a lot you need to consider when washing the element coils. For one thing, you don't want to clean too hard. Those coils are much more prone to breaking than the rest of the toaster. In fact, if you deal enough force, you can crack the element. Replacing it might be hard to come by. You might just have to buy a new one. We don't want to use baking soda on the element because there's a strong chance you won't be able to wipe it all off. And if some baking soda does stay underneath or behind a hard-to-reach spot, you may end up smelling cooked baking soda. It's not harmful to you. It's just might not be pleasant. Make sure the elements are dry before using them again. Here are tips on how to best clean your toaster oven make sure your oven is unplugged. Electrical accidents can happen. Pull the plug to make sure you don't get accidentally zapped or seriously injured from electricity. Start with the inside then work on the outside. This is just something I prefer to do. But you can do it in any order. Most of my energy goes into cleaning at the beginning so I like to make sure the best of it goes directly to the insides of the oven. Generously spread the baking soda mixture. Don't go easy with this mixture. Spreading a thin layer will likely not be as effective and end up making you have to scrub harder since the gunk might still be stuck really tight on the walls of the oven. Also, don't overdo it. We don't want the insides drenched with the mixture. You can flip it upside down when cleaning the inside roof. Scrubbing upwards is hard. A better solution is to simply flip the toaster oven over and use the weight of your arms and body to scrub and wipe. Remove the baking rake or tray and bathe it in baking soda water, keep it under the mixture for the same amount of time you leave the spread on. The longer you leave it in contact with the cleaning solution, the easier it'll be to scrub it off later on. If you want to learn about the technical details on how exactly baking soda cleans, how often you should clean your toaster oven, or even how to remove grease from the toaster oven, then come visit our official website. Just Google search, Family Guide Central Ways to Clean a Toaster Oven, or click on the link in the description below. We love providing helpful videos so subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. As always, in this video, the topics discussed, and ideas presented are opinions and presented for entertainment purposes only. The information presented should not be construed as professional health, financial or legal advice. Always do your own due diligence.